relay as well. So the finals of the ladies 1500 meters. The lineup should be Haikyung Won for Korea, Chun Lu Wang for China, Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, Yang Yang A for China, Yuni Kim for Korea, and uh, Evgenia Radanova for Bulgaria. What a tremendous effort from her, ranked uh, 26th in the world and through to the finals of this 1500 meters. Uh, she'll do well to get any points here, but uh, she's done a splendid job to make it through to the finals. So, uh, bronze medalist in the World Championships last year, ranked number two, Haikyung won for Korea. That's the Yang Yang A for China, world champion from last year, ranked number two in the world at the moment, behind the person she won the championship with, number 26 it is, Lee Kyung Chun. And uh, Trixie Schumann, who is won the Olympic champion of 72 and 27. So uh, ready to get the uh, first of the finals in this World Short Track Speed Skating Championships underway here in Vienna. That's the lineup. So ready to go. The skaters now being introduced. And that was Yang Yang A, the uh, first one out, the world champion, ranked number two in the world. And Yunmi Kim, fourth in the world championships last year. You must uh, feel the tension looking at these. Evgenia Radanova from Bulgaria. Remember, ranked number 26 in the world here in the finals of this 1500 meters in the World Championships. So, ready to go. 13 and a half laps of the track. So, three skaters from Korea, two from China. And uh, a brilliant effort from the Bulgarian. So uh, out in front is uh, Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea. And look at these two go. Oh. So uh, Lee Kyung Won for Korea just uh, slowing things down. And uh, a real cat and mouse game. I'm not quite sure of the tactics here. Haikong won for the Republic of Korea, takes up the running once more. Second place is Yang Yang A. And uh, these two slowing things down once more. The field going with them all the time. And uh, Won just moving right down the pack. Genia Radanova at the back. And this will all be about tactics. Tremendous talent out there. One for Korea making a move up the outside again. So one just uh, extending the lead slightly still. Radanova for Bulgaria at the back. Chun for Korea making a move now with uh, five laps to go. Chun moving up on the inside. So Chun for Korea leads now. And uh, Wang in fourth place for China. Radanova doing well. So the uh, two Koreans really working as a team. It's one of the Chinese making a move around the outside. Really difficult to uh, identify the skaters here. So a lap to go. And uh, Yang Yang just hanging on it in there. I'm pretty sure it's Yang Yang out in front. 
and it's fallen out. Well, that was desperately disappointing. A shake of the fist. So Wang went down. Chun Li Kyung, that is number 26, who's uh, down and out. But it really was frenetic over the uh, final lap there. Tremendously exciting. There's not a lot of people in the stadium here in Vienna, but uh, those that are here really enjoyed that race. Desperately close. Yang Yang A, it is out in front with uh, Chun Li Kyung just going down. And uh, Radanova getting that third place. Fantastic result for her. But uh, Yang Yang wins, and uh, you can see the officials just having to do some quick repairs there. Brilliant effort from these two. That's uh, Yang Yang A and uh, Chun Lu Wang, the two Chinese skaters. Well, they're flying the flag, literally, but uh, they've done a great job here in this, uh, the first of the finals in this World Championships. So it's the men up next, that's the lineup. Marc Gagnon for Canada, Yulong An for China, Italy's Fabio Carter, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea, Nao Tamura for Japan, Satoru Tarao also for Japan, and Richard Gurlitz making it through for Australia as well. Same situation here, valuable points at stake, five for a win, three for second place, two for third, one for fourth. And uh, this will be pretty exciting. Mark Gagnon looks in good form. But uh, you can't rule out the Koreans. Dong Sung Kim. Gagnon, second in the World Championships last year. Tomura, ranked number 11 in the world, fifth in the 1,000 meters in the Olympics. Yulong Ang for China, ranked number 10 in the world. The uh, world champion from Korea. Dong Sung Kim, Fabio Carter, seventh in the world, the European champion, and Che Ji Hoon, the uh, 94 Olympic champion in the 500 meter silver medalist in the 1000. There's Marc Gagnon. Gagnon, silver medal last year. He'd love to get that gold back. So Gorlich uh, gets through due to uh, the disqualification in the semi-final stages. Seven skaters in this men's 1500 meters final. And we now will present the skaters to you from the final. So the lineup here. So first up, Marc Gagnon, silver medalist last year, winner of this title, 94. Yulong An from China, ranked number 10 in the world. Fabio Carter, the European champion for Italy. Dong Sung Kim from the Republic of Korea. Kim, the world champion. Noya Tamura, ranked number 11 in the world, fifth in the 1,000 meters in Nagano. Suturu Tarao. And Richard Gurlitz. Down for the start and safely away. So the uh, race gets underway with Mark Gagnon for Canada out in front. Ron Hills, Richard Gulitz for Australia. It's 
uh, Noya Tomura for Japan in uh, that third spot at the moment. Rao for Japan right at the very back. But, uh, keep your eyes on the Korean Dong Sung Kim. And as we say that, Satoru Torao makes a move around the outside and uh, takes up the running. Kim up in the fourth place behind Fabio Carter for Italy in third place at the moment. So uh, Torao for Japan now drops back a place. Mark Gagnon now leading Torao second place. Dong Sung Kim for Korea. Not wanting to leave anything to chance in that third place. Carter now down into fourth. So no changes there at the moment. Gagnon still leads. Carter in that third spot. Torao it is in uh, second place. With Kim for Korea in fourth. Then is Yulong An for China. Gurlitz for Australia. And right at the back at the moment, Noya Tomura for Japan. Torao now out in front, ahead of Mark Gagnon. Fabio Carter keeping in contention. We've already seen his turn of speed, but watch out for Dong Sung Kim for Korea in fourth place, dropping down to fifth as Yulong An moves through. But out in front now, Gagnon for Canada, making his running now. Two laps to go. Gagnon leads. Fabio Carter in second place. Torao having a real battle there with uh, Yulong An. So on to the final lap, Carter out in front. A battle here with Mark Gagnon. Gagnon moves up the inside. Gagnon's going to get it. Fabio Carter in second place. Tremendous stuff from him. And uh, Dong Sung Kim, it is getting that third spot. Well, Carter really putting on the pressure over the final lap. Look to be strong, but uh, Gagnon hangs on in there. He's got the inside line around that final bend. Carter trying to cut back inside. And uh, Mark Gagnon just having the momentum to take him through. So Gagnon wins that one. And the important thing, five championship points for him there. Three points going to uh, Fabio Carter. Dong Sung Kim for Republic of Korea. Getting uh, two points for that third place. There's confirmation of that. Great start to the championships for Mark Gagnon for Canada. Silver medalist last year but looking in great form here in Vienna. Good team spirit from the competitors here in this uh, short track speed skating. Well, remember, this is the opening day of the World Championships. It's the 500 meters coming up tomorrow. We've got uh, action live for you in the men's quarterfinals and then the highlights coming up later on in the afternoon and uh, more live action on Sunday, the final day of these championships. The uh, 1,000 meters for the men's and the ladies and the 3,000 meters, the final event for the top eight skaters. Well, that just about wraps up our coverage of today's event. A look back at the uh, final stages of this men's 1,500 meters final and uh, tremendously exciting. Mark Gagnon really uh, drawing on all of his experience here. Fabio Carter for Italy putting in a splendid effort and uh, disappointment for Satoru Torao. He was uh, right up in contention for much of the race but couldn't hold his placing over the final two laps. Dong Sung Kim coming through for the Republic of Korea. But you can see a pretty sparse crowd here, but it's been exciting action. And I sincerely hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the opening day here in Vienna. A very, very exciting sport and uh, one that's growing in popularity all the time. That's the situation coming up tomorrow live at uh, 3.05 Central European time. The men's quarterfinals for the 500 meters. The highlights coming up at uh, a quarter past six, quarter past five, of course, for viewers back home in the UK. Should be very, very exciting indeed. Well, I sincerely hope you can uh, join us 
for that action tomorrow. Coming up next, it's uh, Jump the Bus. But uh, for now, until tomorrow, from Vienna, from myself, Chris Howarth. Hope you can join me tomorrow. Bye for now. So this is day two of the competition. And uh, yesterday, the men and the ladies competed in the 1500 meters. The situation in the men's competition is Mark Gagnon for Canada is leading with Fabio Carter for Italy in second place. Kim Dong-sung for the Republic of Korea in third and Satoru Torao for Japan in fourth. But it's the ladies we focus on this afternoon, first of all, and it's the 500 meters. The situation here is Yang Yang A for China leading, Chun Lu Wang for China in second place, Radonova for Bulgaria, brilliant result in third, Yun Mi Kim for Republic of Korea in fourth. So the lineup for the first of the 500 meters we're going to see. Yang Yang A for China in the red strip. Chun Lu Wang right out in front Stephanie Bouvier for France so Chun Lu Wang lying in second place after the uh, first round but uh, Wang with a tremendous lead here ranked number two in the world it's a good battle for second place but uh, Wang out on her own and uh, Kunze just getting there as well so number 80 Chun Lu Wang eighth ranking in the world second at this distance and uh, lying in second place at the moment good start here first two making it through to the next round the quarterfinals so the lineup for the next race race number 32 on our schedule this is uh, Haikyung Won for the Republic of Korea semi-finalists in the uh, 1500 meters Sashi Ozawa for Japan Annie Perot for Canada on the left of your picture as you look at it lying in 19th place going into this uh, joint 19th with Margarita Larionova from Estonia on the inside the Korean Haikyung Won ranked uh, second in the world. 11th at this distance was uh, fourth in the 94 Winter Olympics at this distance. But uh, straight out in front, it's uh, the Olympic champion at this distance, Annie Perot, and uh, really dominating here. Good start from her, that's important. Annie Perot keeping out of trouble right out in front. It's uh, Haikyung Won for the Republic of Korea, hot on her heels. Ozawa from Japan trying to get back in there, but uh, uh, Annie Perot with two laps to go looks very confident indeed the Korean just uh, moving up onto her shoulder and uh, there she goes Haikyung Won just uh, nips in front wins the heat but uh, it's uh, Won and Annie Perot that make it through on this heat Good race there from uh, Annie Perot. Needs to do well here. Didn't perform well in the uh, 1500 meters on day one of the championships. Much better today. Hai Kyung Won just uh, making her presence known there and uh, really a psychological batter there. You can see Annie Perot just letting her through. So the lineup for the next race, Lee Kyung Chun for Republic of Korea. On her left, it's uh, Ellen Vigas for Holland, for Israel there, Olga Karolin, and uh, on the inside for Canada, Tanya Vincent. Well, uh, Chun from Korea is uh, ranked number one in the world at the moment, fourth at this distance, lying in equal fifth place with uh, Hai Kyung Won at this stage. Tony Vincent down in 19th place with Olga Carolyn. A lot to do with it. 
a little bit of a battle into that first bend to start so important and uh, the experience showing there from Lee Kyung Chun so Chun out in front with Tanya Vincent for Canada in second place then it's Ellen Vigas and uh, Olga Carolyn at the back of the moment two to go through remember into the next round and uh, Lee Kyung Chun looking very very confident indeed at the start Ellen Vigas in third with two laps to go trying to get up on the shoulder of Tanya Vincent the battle is on for that second place well no doubt about the uh, qualifiers there Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea qualifies along with uh, Tanya Vincent from Canada no place there for Ellen Vigas brave brave effort Chun the winner and uh, looking to improve on that fifth placing at the moment remember Chun won the uh, B final in the uh, Olympics and uh, that eventually won the bronze medal so there's Sylvia Steiner from Austria a local hero here in uh, Vienna the lineup for this race, uh, Chikaji Tanaka for Japan, lying in uh, equal eighth place with Yang Yang S. There's uh, Debbie Palmer for Great Britain. And uh, Sylvia Steiner on her right hand side. And away they go. Well, I can tell you this is, in fact, the restart. There was a, a collision in the first run, and uh, Chikaji Tanaka got disqualified. She uh, wiped out Debbie Palmer, who took a very, very hard fall indeed, and uh, Palmer has done well to make it into the race here. Just coasting past uh, Sylvia Steiner now up the inside. And uh, remember, it's just all about qualification here. Yang Yang S coasting out in front but uh, Debbie Palmer in second place a brave effort Palmer eight times winner of the British title Yang Yang S silver medalist in the 500 meters in Nagano and easily qualifying here and uh, well done to Debbie Palmer because it really was a tough fall and then we look at the times we had the uh, stretches out but uh, luckily she was just shaken up and uh, able to continue with the event Yang Yang looking very impressive indeed so now on to the uh, men's competition and the lineup here it's uh, Hyun Won Lee for the Republic of Korea. Stephen Bradbury for Australia. He's on the inside there. Simon van Rosel for Belgium. Martin Johansson and Bjorn Elgerton for Norway. So five skaters in this race. Two to qualify. And uh, a real battle on the two right out in front. And uh, the Korean nipping inside there. Hyun Won Lee. Hyun Won Lee lying in ninth place ranked uh, number two in the world rankings and you can see there the pressure these guys are putting on the skates with two laps to go brilliant job from Hyun Won Lee for the Republic of Korea the field really spread now Stephen Bradbury trying to fight his way back in and there looked to be a little bit of contact there Bradbury comes in in third place so Hyun Won Lee makes it through no doubt about that He's the winner. And just watch Bradbury coming through on the inside there. You can see a little bit of contact. And uh, desperate time there for Bjorn Elgerton. There is a disqualification in this race for the number one, Stephen. So Stephen Bradbury there disqualified for impeding there just gave it a little bit too much the uh, adrenaline getting to him there at the end of the race and the time of number one Jung Wang Lee 
There's that uh, impeding again there. A quick race, the first heat, 43.40. As uh, we now move on. And the lineup here is uh, Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea. Richard Gorlitz for Australia. On the inside, it's uh, Ji Hoon. Next to him, the uh, Australian. Then the uh, German, Mark Holtman, and on the outside, it's uh, Evgeny Yakovlev. Well, we know the starts are very, very important in the 500 metres. A lot of tension there. Important to uh, get a good start and lead in that first corner safely away there.